Clearly, China has also planted international white grape varieties. These are not as abundant as clearly the red. The Chinese have always enjoyed red wines more than whites, even though that is going to change because the majority of Chinese food is really suited to white wines. Uh, of the international white grapes, the one that really plays the lion's share is Chardonnay, and it's made all over the country in many different styles. Importance and the popularity of Chardonnay in China is well exemplified by the many wineries that make great wines, such as, for example, Tiansai Winery. And also in Ningxia, it's a very important grape. People like Emagao at Silver Heights in the Shandong Peninsula. Mystic Island is making some really interesting Chardonnay wines and doing plenty of research on oak barrels and yeast strains. Chateau Nine Peaks, of course, with their cheap, really a world-class Chardonnay wine. And also, what is probably the smallest winery in China, with one person only at the helm, the owner, the winemaker, this is Jiang Yu Winery. It's really characterized by a lovely ferment Chardonnay that is bright, juicy, and fresh. It's just an example of the many, many wonderful Chardonnay wines that the country is now making. Riesling is also very important. It is a country that can do Riesling very well, especially in its cooler regions. And there are some a truly world-class, mostly dry Rieslings being made in the country. Another grape variety that was planted a lot at the beginning and now has fallen a little bit out of favor, but has potential in China, is Welsh Riesling, so-called Italian Riesling, which gives a lower acid, creamier wine that is, however, well-suited to a majority of Chinese cuisines and Chinese palates as well.